Hey guys, welcome to part three of our Ionic series. In the last video, we went ahead and added some markup here, added some um, JavaScript components, so the nav bar, the view, and we also created a template for to dos. All right, and we also created a router, and we're routing the uh, home page to our to dos template and our to dos controller. So what I want to do now is we want to add an input so that we can start to add to dos. All right, we haven't set up our database yet, but we'll get to that after. All right, so if we look at the documentation here under CSS components and then forms, you'll see a bunch of different um, styles of form. All right, I'm going to just use this placeholder label form. So I'm going to grab this code here and we're going to put this right inside of our to do's controller. All right, so paste that in. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this name here. And we actually only need one of these. So let's get rid of that and that. Okay, so to do's controller, um, we're going to change the placeholder to We'll just say add to do. Now we also want to put in an ng model directive, and that's really important. Okay, that's what's going to bind uh, bind our data. So this is going to be let's call it um, let's call it name. Okay, that's the to do name. So let's see. Let's save that and look at our application. Uh, let's see. What do we? Oh. <laughs> We're getting Bob because we actually have we actually have data bound to the name, which is uh, right here. So let's get rid of that. All right. So now we get add to do. So now under the label, we'll put a button and I'm going to put that in a div. OK, so we're going to give this a class, a couple classes. We want item button button block. And let's do button stable. OK, and we're going to need a few other attributes. So let's say ng model and we'll say add to do BTN. We're also going to want ng disable. And what that'll do is it'll make it so that uh, if we don't. If we don't have a to do in here, if we don't have any characters in here, then the button won't work. All right, so all we have to do is say not name, okay, if it doesn't have a name. And then finally, we want ng click. Okay, so when the button's clicked, we want to call a function called uh, save to do, which we'll create in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and end that. And let's see, did I do an ending div? I don't think so. All right, so let's save that. Actually, we need to put our text in here. We'll say save. OK, so there's our button now. Uh, wait a minute. I shouldn't be able to click that. NG disable. Oh, it's disabled. All right, so now you can see I can't click it. If I go ahead and add something in here, then I can. OK, so what we want to do now is create this save to do function. So let's go back to our controller. And we're going to say scope dot save to do is going to equal a function. All right. And for now, we're just going to console dot log. All right. And let's console dot log scope dot name. OK, so we'll save that and we'll type in something save and down here you can see it's console logging something so since we gave this an ng model of name we can access it with scope dot name from within here now in order for us to save this we're going to have to have some kind of database solution and that's where firebase comes in all right so what we're going to do is go to firebase.com and if you don't have an account just go ahead and sign up it's free and then log in. Okay, once you log in, you'll see something like this. 
and what I'm going to do is create a new database or a new app and let's call it um, I'm going to call it my to do's dev all right actually I'm going to call it my to do's because that doesn't have to be unique but this does the app URL so you won't be able to use this just use something else and then you can see the URL full URL down here so we'll click create new app all right and now we can click manage app and that'll take us to our interface okay so when we have data you'll see it here right now it's empty obviously um, but we're gonna fix that so let's go back and what we're gonna do is create something called a service uh, to interact with firebase but before we do that we need to install something called angular fire alright so let's go ahead and stop this control C and we're gonna say npm install angular fire and we're gonna add this save just like that okay so what we want to do now is you can see in our node modules we have this angular fire folder we're actually gonna to have to take some um, files out of there and put them into our JS folder so I'm gonna open that in Windows uh, let's see my to do's node modules angular fire dist and we're gonna to want to grab this copy it and we're gonna put that right in our JS okay now we also have a folder called firebase and we're gonna grab this firebase web.js file copy that and put it inside of our JS folder okay so now we have to reference these in our index page Okay, so we're, we want to put these, let's see, we want it right here. Okay, so uh, this is going to be js slash firebase web.js. And then this one will be angular fire. Oops. All right, just like that. We're also going to create a, a JavaScript file called services, and that's going to go right above the controllers. All right, so let's create that. Now to create a service, we're going to say app dot factory. And we're going to call this to do service okay put in a function and this is going to take in firebase array all right and then what we need to do is create a reference to our firebase database so we can say new firebase and then we need to put in the URL which is this right here Oops, that's not, this is the wrong database. We need this one. Okay, so we'll grab this. Okay, just like that. Now what we need to do is create a variable called todos. And let's set that to Firebase Array and then we just want to pass in that reference okay now we'll create a variable called to do service and set that to an object we'll say all and what that's going to do is just going to return all of our to do's alright and then we also want a get function so for this this is going to take in an ID so we'll say to do ID and then we're going to return to do's dot dollar sign get record okay this is just um, part of the firebase api and then we just want to pass in our to do id all right and then finally we want to return the service so we'll save that and that should do it let's close it now what we need to do is let's go to our app.js 
and we're going to have to um, inject the Firebase dependency. All right, so when we create our main module here, we need to have all of our dependencies. Of course, we have Ionic, and now we need Firebase. All right, so we'll save that and go back to controllers. And we need to add a few things here as well. So we want Firebase Array. Oops. We also want uh, state. And then we want the service that we created. So we're going to say to do service. Now we'll go back to our save to do. And what we'll do is we'll say scope dot new to do is going to equal to do service dot all. All right, because remember, all is going to just return all of the to do's back to us. All right, then we're going to say scope dot new to do dot dollar sign add. And let's say name and that's going to be scope dot name. So whatever we type in. All right. And then we'll simply just redirect to our to do state. So state dot go to do's. All right. So let's save that and let's see what happens. OK, I'm going to just reload here. Whoops. Oh, we're not running it. We have to run Ionic serve. All right, so it looks like we're getting some kind of issue. Let's look at the console. Uh, let's see. Fail to instantiate my to do's. Module Firebase is not available. Oh, for some reason we have Angular Fire JS dot JS. What did I do? Oh, OK. I'm sure you guys saw that a while ago. All right. So another thing you guys are going to want to do is in our routes, we have our home route or, or to do's. But we also want to we also want to say uh, if it's not if we go to a page or a URL that's not the home and that's not in here, then uh, we need to specify where we want it to go. So we're going to say URL router provider dot otherwise and then we're going to pass in slash all right save that okay so this error down here module is not defined i'm not exactly sure what that means but it doesn't have any effect on the application so don't worry about it so let's go ahead and try to add something here let's say um, go to dinner and save OK, so we saved it. Now we don't have any functionality to actually show the to do. So let's go to our Firebase and you can see we have go to dinner. All right. Um, what I would like, however, is for this to clear once we um, submit it. So let's do that in our controller here. Let's see, we're going to set scope. Um, what is it? Scope dot name. We're going to set that to nothing. OK, so if we go ahead and add, let's say, pick up kids, save, and then it disappears. Good. All right. And if we go look here, we have pick up kids. Oh, I must have submitted a blank one. Let's get rid of that. OK, so in the next video, we're going to make it so that we can actually fetch these and display them in our application.